welcome to Dottotech. We're taking a bit of a different look at the world of photography today. There are so many advancements when it comes to our cameras and our printers. Well, I want to look at some of the ways that all these advances fit in our lives, rather than just looking at the features of the new hardware. And oddly enough, a lot of those advancements all concentrate on fitting digital photography into our everyday lives. I want to start at the beginning and look at where and when we take pictures and then how we share them. Well, we take pictures at events, at things like weddings, parties, grads, birthdays. There are just some moments in life that seem more important after they've happened. So we need to capture and chronicle all aspects of those events. Now, at every single one of these major events now, it looks like the paparazzi have turned out in droves with point-and-shoot cameras snapping away. Well, it used to be that all the photos came from a traditional camera, a digital camera. But now, pictures can happen from your cell phone or BlackBerry. Take a look. We've got a BlackBerry Pearl here. Spin it around, take a look what's there in the back. I see a digital camera. It's pretty good quality too. Over here, Motorola Crazer, digital camera. Actually, 1.3 megapixel digital camera built in here, which isn't really all that bad, especially when you compare it to earlier camera phones whose built-in cameras were a whopping 0.3 megapixel. A 0.3 megapixel digital camera is pretty much useless. You can't do anything with those photos. But 1.3 megapixel, now that's got some resolution. We can do something with that photo. So now that our everyday devices are becoming photo-taking tools, everyone can become a potential photographer, not just the person with the traditional camera. For example, been to a high school grad lately? <laughs> there are cameras everywhere, usually in the hands of parents, but all the kids, they're posing in front of their cell phones. So once we've snapped all these photos, we want to share them. And there is one companion that should be brought along to every major event, and that's one of these. This is HP's PhotoSmart A716. Now, I love this class of printer. They are so affordable and so convenient. They go where you are, when you are, and they print out first-rate photos along the way. Now, we've looked at these photo printers in the past, but we've always looked at them with an eye to how they fit with conventional digital cameras. But these printers are all about instant gratification. You take a picture, you print it out wherever and whenever you want. But what about whatever you want from, for example, a camera or a camera phone? Well, obviously, we can see how they fit with digital cameras, but they're also a treat to use with a camera phone or a PDA. Now, I know you're thinking, okay, I understand. With cameras, they got memory cards. Some PDAs have memory cards. I can plug it in. They have removable memory. I can transfer my photos that way. But how am I going to get pictures from a phone to the printer? Because these very few cell phones have memory cards. Well, we're going to do it by magic, actually, through the air. Watch and be amazed. This is a Bluetooth adapter. This is one from Kensington. It's a 2.0 Bluetooth adapter, and it theoretically should allow us to connect our Bluetooth-enabled cell phone to any device. And let me show you. Actually, I picked up several because I wasn't sure how well they'd work. We've frankly had mixed success with Bluetooth in the past on the show, so I picked up several different adapters. If we take a look at the schematic on the back, it tells me what this Bluetooth adapter should work with. PDAs, music devices, cell phones, oh, and printers. Well, if it works as advertised, we might have a pretty slick solution here. So, we plug it in to the USB port on the printer, and right away it starts to blow blue, which is a darn good sign. So now we have to get a picture. So, I'm going to go into my Crazer here. I'm going to go into the camera mode, and I need a good subject for a picture. Actually, this Crazer works pretty cool. I can close the lid, and I can take a self-portrait of a man in concentration. There we go. Man in concentration. It could be an award-winning photo. So I go into options and scroll down. Now every camera phone is going to work slightly differently as far as its menuing system, but there's the print dialog box. I choose print and it says print by Bluetooth. Good sign so far. And then it goes and it looks for the printer. First of all, actually it has to turn on Bluetooth because I had it turned off. There it is. Now it finds the printer. It finds the PhotoSmart A710 family printer. So this is an A716, so that's a good sign. Now I choose print, and it connects another really good sign, and it sends straight through. We see the data being sent through, and the printer fires up and starts printing. This is pretty darn cool. Think about it now. We have actually three different companies providing technology that's all fitting together wirelessly. We have a Motorola cell phone, we have a Kensington Bluetooth adapter, and I have no reason to believe that other manufacturers' Bluetooth adapters won't work just as well, being printing now on a HP PhotoSmart printer. Bluetooth might be finally living up to its promise. 
Bluetooth printing opens new worlds of opportunities for us to share our photos. And having one of these printers at your grad party would be awesome. And just think about how hard you could make this little puppy work at a family reunion. Everyone with digital cameras can print using memory cards, and those with camera phones can print using Bluetooth. There's no additional cables or software required. Photos are all about sharing and preserving our memories. The PhotoSmart printer is all about producing those pictures. Add a little Bluetooth to the mix, and suddenly your PhotoSmart printer is an equal opportunity printer. For more information about any of the products we cover on the show, drop by our website at dototech.com.